Hey what's up guys welcome to 8bits in this video I am going to tell how to put ads on your android application here I am going to open my ADT and creating a new android application I am giving the name sample ads click on next click on next select the icon and click on next and finish now my application has been created I am going to my application resource directory in their layout and I am changing the text view after that I am running my Android application on emulator right click on project run as Android application the main purpose of running this application when we run the apk file is created Right now my Android application is running on emulator. Now we have to create the application's keystroke. Right click on project, click on export, click on Android, next. Here click on current keystroke, Those the location where you want to save the file. I am giving the file name as my keystrokes. Give a password. Click on next. Here we want to give a alias name. I am giving my ads. After that, type your password and click validity here. I am giving 25. After that, your name. So I am giving 8 bits. Rest of the boxes, no need to write you can directly click on next and set as destination folder where you want to save the application after completing this process you will find two files in the destination folder one is keystroke file and another one is apk file with keystroke now it's the time to put ads on our application I am using third party application that is vServe Mobi application. Go to vServeMobi.com. In that, you will get one application called App Wrapper. Using that application, using easy three steps, we can put ads on our application. The download links is given in the description. I have downloaded app wrapper application from vSor Mobi application. Double click on that app wrapper application. Sign in with your Gmail or Facebook ID. Before that, you have to register with vSor Mobi website. After login, you will get this screen. Here, just drag and drop your APK file or click on browse and select your apk file the apk file is created when you exported it using keystroke here you will see these many options out of this two options are coming by default that is when your application gets open one advertisement again when your application gets closed again one advertisement you can select more options also after a click on done button now you have to upload your keystroke file the keystroke file is, is like a self certification for your application after that give your alias name 
in my case my ads is my alias name after that enter the password which you have given while creating keystroke file click on integrate button after completing the integration click on folder locations now here you will see the apk file which is already wrapped rename that file now if you install this apk file on your android application the ads are coming right now i am installing this apk file on my uo android application i am pasting my apk file in uo folder after pasting in uo folder go to your uo application go to file and set the path and click on open now my application is loaded in the file path that is sample ads double click on that application it is getting installed and it's open now my application gets open and you can see flipkart advertisement on my application if you click on close button over right corner my application is comes see welcome to my ads and if you close that application again one ad will appear if you close that ad your application gets closed when the users click on that advertisement you will get paid by visor mobi application we can do the advertisement using admob google service also but for that we have to pay 25 dollars for visor mobi application no need to pay anything it's a freeware and it is easy to put ads using only three steps Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, click on like button, drop the comments, share this video and also subscribe my channel.